chance to work. This is not only a local competition, but an international one. Norway, are you ready? We are ready in here. All the groups are there. Uh, all the groups are outfitted. We can head to the lab and start. Bosnia? Yeah, Bosnia is ready and we can't wait to start. Romania? We are willing to start here. The participants receive their boards. Hopefully, we will have the best projects here. So. Next is Germany. The participants here, Southampton. Okay, this is Southampton. All the teams are ready. Good luck to every other team. Let's go to Austria. Everything is set here. All the people have got their boards and we are ready to go. It's time to start. Head towards the laboratory and uh, get started. Good luck. Hello! Welcome to MXCon 2016 here in Norway and in Tehran. Welcome to MXCon 2016 in Kazakhstan. Welcome to the MXCon 2016 at Boston International Poetry University. We are here at Politechnica University of Timisoara. This is MXCon 2016 in Southampton, here in the United Kingdom. Come follow me to the left. What do you do when your glue gun is broken? You deal with it. <laughs> We are trying to make an assistant robot. The idea was to build an electronic dog lock. A smart house project. What we are trying to do is a 3D tracking interface. A robot that will think will help other people. We burn the transmitter. Oh, hello! Hello! We are doing something <laughs> like a helper device for elderly persons. The robot for blind person. So this is a secret uh, lock lock. An electrocardiogram that is measuring the electrical differences between uh, electrical impulses of the heart. Central for traffic light in our car. Everything here related controlled on your mobile phone or any other smart device. Some people resting from their projects here. Uh, let's make this display. <laughs> I'm working on an audio for noise cancellation using an adaptive filter. We are making a pill dispenser for people who have Alzheimer's or other cognitive dysfunctions that prevent them from managing their own uh, pill intake. Light uh, sensing system. It's a music sequencer. <laughs> the team of the Dynaphone, Fritchie, our refrigerator. AES encryption for files from an SD card. Ball, bad ball. <laughs> it's rotating in two axes. We want to play a real contest, right? You would play it in the reality. So the idea is to control a coffee machine, gather statistics of how much, how much coffee we're drinking, uh, self uh, well, auto leveling this platform. Our project is to build a pancake printer. We've made a gesture control glove where uh, we move our fingers and it plays the piano. <laughs> we're building the robotic arm prosthesis to help the handicapped people. It's a music sequencer. So, as you can see, just place the notes that we input on the panel. We have uh, designed a prototype of a reliable medicine dispenser. 
we designed this to automatically dispense and alert the user. Yeah, the LED lights up and the speaker starts making a sound when the pill is in the box. And then you have to pick up the pill for it to stop. We would like to know who is drinking coffee and how much coffee uh, people drink in a month. So, uh, for example, the department can uh, buy coffee in advance, so take some promotion in the supermarket, use it. It's just simple, order a coffee, you can check the statistics, it's also have a log. What we wanted to do is, uh, there are a lot of applications out there where a lot of parts from the reality they are put in virtual. What we wanted to do is the other way around. So we started with something very virtual, a, lot, a less user interface, like the Counter Strike game, and we wanted to make it more real, so people could really feel like being part of it. A multiplayer game, just like COD or Counter Strike, something like that. Well, the basic idea is like sale by some people. Um, yeah, I expected it to be um, self-controlled. We made the artificial uh, arm prosthesis. So by moving your head in front and back, you can, and on the sides, you operate the gripper. Can you open your hand? Okay. Now, by nodding your head, you're changing the operation to use to use the whole arm servo. As well, you can move your arm on the left, right, hopefully, and your left. So we wanted to make a gesture recognition system. So now we're just playing a piano with these gestures to control, but this can be used for various other applications like controlling uh, lights, home automation and various other Very good. What we are going to present you is a 3D tracking system. We can replace the mouse in a computer, then we can control different games like Dina and Persia, and then we can handle different PowerPoint presentations like we do now. Now we will control Dina. Let's try to move left. Now we move down. We have constructed a mini house. This is the inside the house area, and this is the yard, the front yard. Via the Bluetooth, we can connect basically almost everything. You can receive on the mobile application uh, some live uh, informations about your house. 28, 28. Uh, push on. the title. parking car. That was the, the scope of the project, uh, to leave a park or to park uh, a car with minimum steps. Our project is uh, a robot for a blind person. In the device itself we have sensors, so we actually find obstacles. If there is an obstacle, we say there's an obstacle to your right, go to the other direction. Or if there is an obstacle in front, say there is an obstacle in the front, you can either go left or right. Our project is secret knock lock, and we made a lock which uh, opens using a secret knock well, that is a pattern which we recorded before and we used later for unlocking the door. But when we press this button, this is the record button. So if you press it and knock, we still got six knocks, which is just one knock. If you try it again, we unlock the door. <laughs> we have made a smart thermostat, uh, which is uh, planned to control uh, the heating and everything heating in our homes. 
if we want to turn heating on, we will press the push button here and if you come closer you can see that the temperature rises there and uh, the LED uh, goes on. In order to learn which is the MX Stone Guru of 2016, I would like to invite Professor Kunz. It was a longer discussion and uh, of course that's one of the downsides of MX Stone, there can only be one guru. And the guru is now on this sheet. And I may read who it is. It's University of Southampton. Congratulations to Southampton, our max team. The prize, which is a development kit from uh, Silicon Lab, there are three of them, will be underway to you by post next week. Congratulations, you did a great job as Professor <laughs> is powered by Silicon Labs and the European Master in Embedded Computing Systems and is supported by ARM, Cinex, Mauser Electronics, Erasmus Mundus Association, Liga Ace and the German Lab.